Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to install CHroot Ubuntu 12.04 Alpha on your CR, uh, sorry, on your Chromebook, on your ARM Chromebook, uh, not the CR48, which is, uh, which has an x86 uh, Intel processor, so you don't want to follow these instructions if you do not have an ARM processor. The, this video is only for um, ARM Chromebooks which is the uh, the series 3 the the series 3 one so let's get started make sure you have everything backed up uh, all your files need to be backed up either on Google Drive or on an external hard drive because the process will wipe all of your data alright so um, what does work on um, Ubuntu uh, Wi-Fi works Bluetooth works uh, battery the battery monitor works USB and SD card support is available, so that's a major plus. All right. Uh, what doesn't work? Sound does not work as of yet. Uh, also, the touchpad is a little annoying to use. It jumps around, but if you have a mouse, um, if you have an external mouse, it should be fine. All right. Graphics is not accelerated. All right. We do not have any graphics acceleration on Ubuntu yet that means 3d support is not available but does that mean you can watch videos yes it does can you watch HD videos yes if you watch them in full screen they may be a little uh, a little laggy but other than that you should be fine so let's get started all right make sure you have everything backed up uh, we're gonna hold the power button until everything shuts off okay and now you're gonna want to press the escape key and the refresh key on the keyboard keep holding them and then just press the power button once keep holding escape and refresh and what that should do is bring you up to the screen right there chrome os is missing or damaged please insert a uh, recovery usb stick or sd card so once you're at this screen you're going to want to press control d all right and it's going to say to turn uh, os verification off press enter we're going to go ahead and press enter okay now we're booting into the screen right now and what we're gonna want to do is just keep waiting alright guys so after you waited maybe a few seconds five seconds maybe you're gonna get to the screen right here it says your system is transitioning to developer mode, local data will be cleared. So this is the process in which your uh, SSD, uh, I think it's a either 16 or 20 gig SSD that we have in here, uh, this is, it's going to be completely wiped. And as you see at the top left counter, um, there's like 5 seconds remaining before it starts the process. If you want to cancel it, then you just com turn the computer off, but we're not going to do that. So uh, this process is um, letting us get into developer mode. So it should take maybe, I'd say two, two and a half minutes, three minutes max before um, it gets us into developer mode. So I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll get back when it's done. Alright guys, so uh, mine just finished. And before it actually uh, booted up, it got to the uh, OS verification is not enabled. So do not press anything when you get to that screen, just let it load and it will eventually get to the screen. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to set up my Wi-Fi. Alright, so after you set up your Wi-Fi, uh, you're just going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions, and then it's going to check for updates. There shouldn't be any updates uh, as of now. So, we are not going to log in, alright? Do not log into your Gmail, because what we're going to want to do now is go into the shell. And how we're going to do that is by pressing... Control Alt Forward, okay, and that should get us into the shell. So that's Control Alt and the forward key, which is the key pointing to the right, the arrow key pointing to the right. And it's gonna say localhost login. That's gonna be Chronos, C H R O N O S. All right, no password needed. You're just gonna press Enter, and you're gonna get uh, the the reply. So that that's how we know that we're in. Um, we've made it into the shell. So, this is where everyone should be at this point, okay? We should be right here at the shell. So now we're at the shell, 
we're gonna type in this code right here. Um, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post uh, what I'm gonna write on uh, either the description of the video or uh, or somewhere where you guys can get it. But uh, I'm gonna read it out loud. It's gonna be W get here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this actually. All right, so it's going to be W get. All right, W get HTTP colon forward forward slash goo dot gl forward slash thirty four v eight seven semicolon space pseudo space bash space 34 v87 all right we're gonna go ahead and press enter make sure you have this exactly right or else it's not gonna work all right so I just press enter and uh, it's gonna say okay, oh good you're running developer bios okay now we're gonna press enter okay and now this should take uh, around five to ten minutes so let's just uh, let's take a break for now Okay, guys. So you should reboot back in. Uh, you should reboot into your new uh, Ubuntu desktop. If the command didn't work for you, uh, if you got an error, make sure that you have internet connectivity. Uh, if you want to know how to check, you're gonna have to go to. You're gonna. If you're still in the shell, you're gonna press Control Alt, and then you're gonna press the back arrow key instead of the um, the forward, which is the right arrow. You're gonna press the the arrow pointing to the left. Control Alt arrow pointing to the left you're going to be back in Chrome OS and you're going to check your Wi-Fi connectivity to see if uh, if it's connected or if there's something wrong with your Wi-Fi but now um, that we're in Ubuntu let's just see how everything is alright we have standard unity you see we have the dock on the left right here we have everything let's see the uh, the dash home alright let's just see. test this out alright it is does not look laggy. Let's see if we can uh, get a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, you see how the mouse is really really choppy. Yeah, I don't I don't know of a fix for that, but uh, let me just connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm just connected to the Wi-Fi, and now I'm just gonna go test out Firefox. Just open things up. Also, guys, when you're running the command and after 10 minutes, uh, it's still repeating uh, the same process. You're going to want to press enter twice, and it's going to end, actually, it's going to end the process, and it's going to reboot. And uh, that's what worked for me, so let's just test out Firefox. You know, here we have it. Let's see if we can go full screen mode. All right, let's just go to a um, random website. Let's go to... Uh, news.google.com and uh, you know loads it pretty well let's see if they have two finger scrolling support okay it doesn't look like there is any but I think there's a fix we okay guys so I've just uh, figured this out if we actually go to dash home and type in uh, touchpad it's gonna bring up mouse and touchpad right here we're gonna open that up and basically you're gonna go to the touchpad tab and here's where you can configure all the settings you can uh, change the sensitivity I made everything go to fast and high for acceleration sensitivity and also you can turn on two finger scrolling so let's just test out the two finger scrolling right on uh, chromium which I got from the uh, from the software center. All right, let's just open up uh, Google. I don't know Google News. All right, let's try it out. All right, so here we go. So it looks like it's not inverted scrolling. So here we go. Oops. Let's try this. Out. Okay, so it's not perfect, but you see that it works 
pretty well and here let me just go up and I'm letting go so you can see kind of the smoothness aspect of it it's kind of choppy but at the same time we can get extensions here uh, that can actually make it smoother so if you can see that right there it's a pseudo CGPT add dash C dash T six dash P S or that's a five sorry five dash S one space forward slash dev forward slash MMC BLK zero and then uh, your username is user and it's gonna ask you for the um, the username automatically the username is uh, user if you guys want to make any changes and the password is also user okay and I'm gonna show you the command if you want to make Chrome OS the default uh, also if you uh, don't want to run the command you can just boot normally and uh, it's gonna you just turn developer mode off by by uh, just pressing space when it says the um, the 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 protection is uh, is not enabled so you're just gonna press spacebar and it's gonna disable develop developer mode alright guys this is the code that you're gonna have to run if you wanna have chrome os be the default os it's gonna be pseudo cgpt space add space dash t space six space dash p space zero space dash s space one space forward slash dev forward slash mmc blk zero same thing with the uh, password it's gonna be user uh, as is the username hey guys also you might want to run this uh, command it's called sudo apt get update and basically what this does is it updates uh, a lot of your repositories and sources uh, and also it's gonna help us get flash later on so we're just gonna run this it's gonna ask for your user your password which is user and then just uh, let it go for about a minute and there we go it's done